You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 95 of Pwned. This episode is going to be the start of a series of episodes. That means episode 96, 97. I don't know how many exactly because I want to kind of bring you guys up to date with everything that I've done uh, for the past maybe about one month or so. But the problem is that uh, I'm facing a huge time constraint. So I'm really being pressed for time here uh, because I just finished my reservist, and uh, which is my two weeks long uh, in-camp training for military, for the military service. And um, when I came back to work, uh, you know, Chinese New Year's around the corner, or the Lunar New Year's around the corner, and uh, working in the advertising uh, industry, being in the digital, uh, you know, in the digital space, it means that there's a lot of deadlines to meet, a lot of campaigns going out from different clients. So um, I really don't really have much time to, you know, do really long videos. So I decided that, and I, and I hope that you guys don't mind, but I decided that uh, for the next two, three, or maybe even four episodes, it'll be just like really short episodes, uh, but very focused, uh, you know, um, on the on the item or whatever I really want to uh, bring to you in that video. And I hope you guys don't mind. So I will start off with this episode, which is 95, and it will be about some 3D printed stuff that you guys already saw on my Instagram. Uh, it's the 3D printed muzzle pieces that I actually got from Taobao. So let's go ahead right to the main part of the video. In an older episode of Pwn that I made, I actually showed you guys like a 3D printed muzzle attachment piece or four barrel attachment. Uh, yeah, I should say a four barrel attachment piece that I actually use for my red long shot. Uh, I will try and dig for that video and put the annotation over here. Um, if I can't find it, I'm sorry guys. But uh, yeah, that was my first uh, foray into like muzzle or barrel attachments that I completely 3D printed. So um, the next step was actually these guys that I'm going to show you and I would like to give a big shout out and say a big thank you to DT Dragon Tooth for actually handing me these. So it's really really cool. The first one I'll show you is what I've done for my demolisher which is now looking like this. And this one took a little bit of modifications. As you can see, I've cut this one. This is my standard demolisher. It also has a lever release and I will probably feature this in another episode. This was made by Gavin, but it's not the focus for today. Also a worker stock attached to it. And you can see that the muzzle is really different. Now I'll show it to you guys up close and uh, this is what the muzzle piece is like now. I had to chop off the original muzzle piece and then I glued all this in place uh, using yeah, uh, enough uh, standard orange tube you know that four barrel attachment the orange tube inside so yeah uh these 3d printed pieces i actually bought from taobao and it's from the same seller that makes um the 3d printed angle four grips which is not here but it's but it but it's here and um also the 3d printed retaliator grips it's the same guy and uh dt sent all these to me in white and i thought it would match this white very nicely this is actually made out of two separate pieces and uh, these are all glued into place the first one is an AK styled uh, muzzle piece and then this one over here is just the front attachment or the flash hider I think that's what you guys call it or muzzle suppressor flash suppressor I don't know there are many many types it, um, that this seller actually has available but I, but I got this one which is absolutely sweet and I'll um, show you guys an up close and um, more more zoomed in view in a short while so this is the first one which is the demolisher it looks like this uh, this is also featured on my Instagram and the next one is this. Now this blaster is actually uh, <laughs> what my girlfriend calls the not fair blaster or the you play cheat blaster um, because it's two blasters in one as you guys can see already uh, sort of integrated it. Not really but yeah still integrated uh, using a metal nerf to nerf connector piece and this is a stock strife and a stock elite raven as you guys can see and uh, this is what I intend to use for my HVZ. Now, yes, I'm moving away from uh, you know my previous remark about I don't want to use electronic blasters, but for HVZ, I think this will make a lot of sense. I have double the firepower, um, one magwell over here, one magwell over here. It's all semi-automatic. Um, it'll be good to last long for HVZ since it's going to be a completely stock game. I also have uh, one of these Dom Labs uh, laser pointer modules on this guy uh, with a pressure switch over here. So I just use my thumb because I'm a lefty. I use my thumb and I'll squeeze. Uh, as you guys can see, it works just by using my thumb, which is pretty cool. And uh, the whole 
the whole important part about today's episode is this muzzle piece attachment, which is right here. Uh, it's a very, very simple installation for this one, uh, way easier than this. So this one, all you have to do is remove the orange part of the retaliator barrel. And um, this, actually this piece over here, I believe, I think it's like an M16 uh, iron sight. Iron sight piece, as you can see, it's very, very well made. But you see this white bar over here, and this is actually, yeah, made to fit in the retaliator um, four barrel attachment so just unscrew the two screws on the orange part remove it and uh, get rid of the other orange piece on the inside if you really can't remove it then just uh, my suggestion is to where's the other screw slot uh, remove maybe these two screws over here and then just slightly kind of stretch it open and then pull out the orange piece over there and then you just friction fit this in you don't have to do anything else you can leave the orange barrel in place because these are all just friction fit let me just show you guys so this one has no glue it just slips off right like that uh feels like uh how you would fit on you know a coupler onto a tube same like a pvc coupler and a tube same but this is also made out of two pieces and um the second piece like i said is the quote-unquote flash suppressor or nozzle suppressor which is this part over here and it's friction fit so I'm gonna take it out as you guys can see so uh, push it in friction fit take it out um, yeah let me just show it to you guys real close up okay so first one will be of this guy and here we have the M16 iron sight uh, it's very very well made you can see this part over here and you can see the actual iron sight that really really looks like a proper um, iron sight with the with those little slots inside where you actually can use to click it left and right to adjust your your um, height of the the uh, aperture the side aperture itself and you have this also uh, which is the flash suppressor or flash hider and you can see that it's flat on two sides here and here really going for the original actual look itself you can see the bevel edges and the slots and everything and it's amazing how these are 3d printed but they look so good so uh, as I mentioned, these are actually friction fit like that. Uh, let me just show it to you guys with the barrel itself. So this is the four barrel attachment with the front orange part removed. As you can see, this is the stop barrel. It sticks out this far. All you got to do is just grab this guy and this nub slots into this over here perfectly. Just friction fit. Uh, let me line that up correctly. And uh, there, here we go. So, as you can see, it's perfect. Uh, no, no wobble, no wiggle whatsoever. And then we're gonna get this guy, and just I like to have the two uh, flat sides on the left and right respectively, and just push it in. Now, if you guys want, you can actually group everything in place, but this is what it looks like now. Super sweet. On to the next one, which is this guy over here, which is my demolisher. Uh, I cannot remove this because I grouped everything in place. Now, when you open up the demolisher, you'll see that inside of this part over here is another thinner tube. Uh, and I actually used that extended piece of a thinner tube. I went all the way out to about here. So from the original resting position, which is about here, where the flywheels are, uh, all the way out to about here. I cannot remember the measurements exactly, but you know, it's meant to fit this. So I went ahead, I actually chopped off um, the original uh, muzzle piece, chopped it off, and then I slit this AK looking uh, front iron sight piece in with the orange part sticking out over here and then this went on to the orange part instead uh, if you guys look down the barrel you can see an orange uh, barrel inside and uh, everything was grouped into place so this is the final product and I uh, made sure that it lined up to the front very nicely and uh, you can see all the crazy detail in this uh, 3d printed piece it's it's really nuts uh, it's very 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 well made it even has a little rail like piece at the bottom and I haven't really tried attaching an actual uh, you know Picatinny rail attachment because I don't have anything that's that small but uh, I believe that it works so yeah uh, very amazing looking muzzle pieces I must say once again big shout out and thank you to DT for actually handing all these over to me these are absolutely amazing I know that a bunch of you uh, have actually asked me about 
where I can where you can get these and I will do my best to post a link in the video description on, on the actual Taobao link. Now the problem is this seller has the seller, sorry, this seller has gone on a like a little break off from Taobao because you know it's the Lunar New Year period and uh, Lunar New Year is a really really big thing especially in China and since this seller is based in China he wants to take a break so he can focus on you know family and stuff and of course I'm pretty sure that he's swarmed with a lot of orders because you know the 3D printed grip is a crazy crazy beautiful piece and it's such an affordable price anyone want to buy it but uh, I will give you guys the link if I can if not I will at least link it to his web store on Taobao uh, and then whenever you guys are able to just keep checking back when he's back I'm sure you'll see all the different um, Choices that you have for these now some are made in different specifications I have to warn you guys first so try your best to use a translator to try and find out Which is the correct ones because I do believe that he actually makes some that are supposed to fit on um, half inch PVC tubes or 15 mm PVC tubes and some are meant to fit on Nerf you know the orange barrel that Nerf has on the inside of your like four barrel attachments? Yeah, so you guys should go ahead and really take a look. As you could tell, this piece over here, the front uh, flash suppressor piece, is a friction fit within this piece. However, it's not the same for the other one on the demolisher. That one is just uh, the suppressor piece itself that goes onto the orange barrel itself. So please note the difference. Uh, I'm not an expert at this. I did not buy it. So uh, I cannot give you guys, you know, the the full advice but this is just a word of warning for you uh, do I think these are sweet yes they are do I think these are affordable yes they are uh, I think these are like about I think 10 sing a pop I think so I can't really remember but that should be it um, and that's about it for this video so uh, yeah um, as I mentioned uh, stay tuned for the next episode which is coming out really soon uh, it's a series of videos so i hope that you guys don't mind in the next video i'll be talking to you guys about gavin's lever release uh extension or replacement for a few of the flywheel blasters so till then i will see you guys drills pay the bills and teamwork makes the dream work peace